Uh, thank you, Madam <coughs> Chairman, and welcome, Dr. Romer. Um, I'm not very good at the partisan blame game, but I am very interested in uh, the business cycle and why we have unemployment. And actually, uh, I'm interested in the measurement of our problems. I think sometimes we deceive ourselves because following some free market uh, websites that measure unemployment somewhat differently than our government, they come up with a figure of 22 percent of under, under unemployment. And also, even the way the Bureau of Labor and Statistics measure it, if they look at all the people who are uh, not looking for work at the moment, uh, that is 16 percent. So things are uh, not very good. Also, the GDP is what we measure. If the GDP is going up, everybody's supposed to feel good. But, you know, if we spend a billion dollars on a missile and we blow it up, that's kind of this uh, increase in the GDP. And it didn't give us a house and didn't give us a health care or education, so there's a big difference. And also, the inflation rate is very important. If you go back and use the old CPI measurement of inflation, we have 6 percent, not 2 percent. So there's a lot of deception, and the people sense this. I think when uh, I think they'd rather hear, uh, you know, accurate information uh, than to, to try to be bamboozled into believing things are just hunky-dory when they know there's a lot of inflation out there. Uh, the uh, other th thing that I have uh, concern about in, in measuring the GDP, if you looked at the GDP in a private way, if somebody had a $200,000 job and he lost his job and, uh, and, and, uh, and the family had two or three hundred thousand dollars of debt, uh, for them to be told that what they need is a million dollar loan and spend it, buy a house and buy a car and live high and their personal GDP goes up. But, but they never measure the debt. But when we go to the government, we say the government's in debt, they're spending too much, what we need to do is spend, we need to borrow and the GDP goes up. But if you measure the GDP that goes up because of borrowing, inflating, and spending, and, and, and look at that with a better perspective, I would say that, uh, you know, maybe the real GDP isn't going up, and maybe that's why we're not having real growth. There's a big difference between people working hard and paying their bills and, and actually saving some money. I think the biggest fallacy that we have, because we don't have a correction, is we don't understand how we got here. We had too much debt and too much malinvestment. And we haven't dealt with that. And when you get too much of it, you have to liquidate it. When you get in over your head and you can't pay the bills, you either have to declare bankruptcy or work hard or take a new job. But we can see this as an individual or company, but it evidently, you know, our economic theory now is that governments are exempt for those kind of economic rules. And I, I yield back the balance of my time. I, I thank the gentleman.